What's going on everyone, Mr. here. Hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today. As always, hope you're doing well, staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. And drinking coffee. And water, of course, too. But make sure you drink coffee. If you don't like coffee, that's fine. Drink, drink, drink some water. Get some water. In you. Anyway, today we're going to be teaching you how to do some tracking. So I've had people in the past give me messages on some of my social medias and also mention in the comments on my videos how I do do a little bit of tracking, you know, if I, if I pick up my coffee or if I'm moving around or something, I'm moving around while talking and explaining, you know, expressing myself with body movement, I often add a little bit of tracking to my face or whatever whatever part seems suitable just to make it a little bit more engaging it makes it makes it a little bit nicer and you can go a few further steps as well with certain things which i'll show you all right so i've got a bit of an example right here i just got a little clip sorry i look angry that's when i'm not smiling when i'm not talking i look angry it's just natural but i've got a little clip here you know 24 frames per second just just some some little movement side to side a little bit of waving action going on you know oh and just to put that out there this doesn't just apply to this you can do this for literally anything if you want something in the center of the screen where a camera is panning across a subject or something but you want that subject to stay in the center uh, it's the same thing so no matter what you're trying to use this for the tracking you can do it now if you aren't using premiere pro i'm sure the editing program that you're using does have the option to use keyframes which is this little stopwatch right here click, click. so all you got to do is make sure you've highlighted your clip just drag it to the start or whatever point you want to start the tracking from let's just uh let's randomly say i want to start from here okay one handy thing if you are in premiere pro click this little plus sign open it up you want to drag in this safe margins just click and drag it into into the little box down here do the same with show rulers and show guides and basically what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to bring up your rulers be able to bring up the safe margin and you'll be able to drag this right to the center as you can see i've already got it got the center down there vertical and horizontal you can go ahead and just take those off, but you leave this one on so you know where the center is. So highlight your clip, choose the area you want to start tracking. First of all, I don't know, let's go for the center of my nose. You know, zoom in a little bit. Put it right there, you know, that's, that's good enough. We don't have to be exact. But the one thing I want to mention is it also does depend on what footage, what settings you use to film. Mainly just if, if you record at 60 FPS, obviously there's more frames, you can skip a few, I'll show you how to do that. But the lower the frame rate, the easier and less time consuming this is. So once again, we got our first keyframes right there, just by clicking these little stopwatches, should be similar in all other programs. We can just zoom in a little bit here so we can see them a bit better. And uh, we'll just click the right arrow key. So that's four frames ahead and you can see the subject has moved. We will realign it right to the center. There we go. And with 24 frames per second, it's pretty safe to go every four frames. Saves a lot of time. One, two, three, four. If you have 60 frames per second footage, you can track each single frame. And every time you adjust the position to its center, it automatically adds a keyframe. So you don't have to do that manually. Now, as you can see, we've already got a bit of tracking going on there. Beautiful. So I'm going to speed this up just so you can see what it's going to look like after I've done a little bit of tracking for it. And uh, then I'll go ahead and show you that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I'm gonna transition the tracking from the center of my face, the nose, onto my hand as I go to start waving, and then continue the tracking with the waving. So if you're trying to do something like that, I can show you how to do that quickly. I don't know if the way I do it is the best way, but that's the way that I found. I learned the easiest and I've been doing it for a long time and it just, it works well. So on the last frame here, I'll adjust it. Add a keyframe for both, for both scale and position, just in case I do want to change the scale and zoom in slightly while the motion is going on, because you can do that at the same time, super simple. And then I'll go forward maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go forward seven frames. And then we'll start on an area of the hand. Now you gotta watch out a little bit because you have to zoom in a bit to, uh, depending on how big your subject is in the actual frame of the video itself. If you're trying to track, it's gonna go out of frame and you're gonna have black, black bars on the side of your video at the top, not the cinematic kind. Ones that look weird, just like this at the bottom there. So we can ease into it. So I've got a keyframe right on my hand there, right between basically the center of my fingers. And then we'll go ahead up here, track it again. And then we can adjust where the tracking should be, where the, where the focal point of the tracking will be. 
So now we can kind of keep it just there. As, as you can see, when I add that keyframe earlier for the scale right there, it's gonna come in handy now because well, we've got a little bit of a little bit of black barring there. So we can zoom in a little bit. And because we added that keyframe so far back, it's gonna do a slow transition into the zoom. So it's gonna just slowly zoom in. So now I'm going to play it back all together and show you what I've done. I haven't completed it from the start to finish, but I've completed the, basically the parts I need to show you for basic tracking and the transition to tracking something else, if that's something that you're going to be needing to do. So if I just go ahead and hold the right arrow key, it'll slowly scrub back, kind of in slow motion in a way, and it'll show you how it looks. Nice little transition, doesn't have to be exact, but you can tell that that was looking good and it looks like it should. Now, I wanted to keep this video as simple as possible and as quick as possible. I don't want to waste your time. I do talk a lot, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you don't mind, but hopefully you did learn uh, what you were trying to learn from this video. If you want some extra tips or anything, feel free to ask me in the comments. I've been using Premiere Pro for years. I know how to do a bunch of things. This is just kind of an example I could give you today. I don't have footage of other subjects. I could go out and film a bird flying or something, but it's raining. I'm not going to do that. So anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, okay? I'm going to be doing a bunch of things in the future on this channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Most of all, stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.